Hi friends, what's up? This is our K-Phone 360 leader. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix iMessage and FaceTime issues after activation on iPhone 14 series. According to Apple, a handful of iPhone 14 users are facing iMessage and FaceTime activation issues after setting up their iPhone. If you have also encountered the same problem on your iPhone and are looking for ways to fix the issue, I have got you covered some pretty effective solutions. That said, let's dive right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, I will recommend you to update your iPhone. Probably the easiest way to fix the iMessage activation issue is to update the software. Therefore, you should go for it. First up, to get started, plug your iPhone into a power outlet using a lightning cable. After that, power plug and then ensure that your device is connected to a power source. Next, launch the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on General. After that, tap on Software Update and then hit Download and Install to download and install the latest iteration of iOS as usual. Then check your phone line. Another important thing that you should do without fail is to check your phone line. Head over to the Settings app on your iPhone and then tap on Cellular or Mobile Data and then make sure that your phone line is enabled. Then I will suggest you to check your phone number. Just in case you use multiple SIMs, ensure that the phone number you wish to use is selected and turned on. Then after, I would suggest you to select correct phone number for iMessage. Make sure you have selected the correct phone number for your iMessage. To do so, head over to the Settings app on your iPhone and then tap on Messages. Then tap on Send and Receive and then select the phone number that you wish to use with iMessages. Then I would suggest you to select correct phone number for FaceTime. Be sure you have chosen a correct phone number for FaceTime. To do so, go to the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on FaceTime, and then select the phone number that you'd like to use with FaceTime. Finally, I would suggest you to restore your iPhone. If nothing has worked in fixing the issue, go for the restore option because it is considered to be a nuclear solution. But bear in mind that it will completely erase your iPhone. Therefore, make sure to back it up beforehand. Simply connect your iPhone to your computer and then launch Finder or iTunes. After that, select your iPhone and then back up your device. Note that if you want the backup to include your health data and Safari passwords. Be sure to encrypt the backup. To do so, just check the box to the left of Encrypt Backup and then Password Protect It. Once the backup is done, restore your iPhone and then set it up. During the setup process, Apple will let you restore your device via the most recent backup and that's about it. So that's how you can fix the iMessage and FaceTime issues on iPhone 14 series after activation. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.